Hello, this is Reza Rat from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use two very simple but yet useful transformation in Power BI, which is add prefix and suffix, which you can use it to add uh, a text at the beginning or at the end of uh, a text column. And I use it to create links to wiki page, to map page and flag image in Power BI. Let's see how it works. One easy way to understand uh, uh, functionality of Power BI is to go through it using an example. Now, let's say I have a list of countries in my Power BI file, uh, which looks like this list of countries. Now, just to show you where I get that from, I got these countries from from this website. Um, it's just a public website that gives me the list of countries. Now, uh, what I want to do is to add a link for each country to their Wikipedia page. And their Wikipedia page can have links like this. You see that this link has the Wikipedia page link plus the country name here. Now the country name, the difference is that the country name has underscore uh, where it has a space in my uh, in my text. So what I'll do first, I'll create a duplicate of this column, which is here duplicated. Then I replace values uh, to make sure that I replace the spaces with uh, with the underscore. And here is what it looks like after it has been replaced. Then I can uh, I can see that this has been changed to that. I can use this column and add a prefix to that by clicking on the column, transform, format, add prefix. This is up available also and under add column, format prefix. The difference is that if you use it under add column, it add another column, do this on that. But I, in this case, I want to transform this column because it is a duplicated column. So I add a prefix and adding a prefix means that I just specify the text I want to be added as a prefix of every single value. And you see that this text is added as the prefix of every single value. And this value was from the column itself. So altogether, this created the wiki page URL. I can use the same approach this time to create a link to Google map and the link to Google map is something like this. If I remove these areas of that, uh, this is the link to Google map. It has the, uh, this URL and the country name after that, the country name has a plus instead of space. So I basically can use the same approach, creating a duplicate of the column, this time replacing a space with a plus which is what happened here. And finally adding a prefix. This time my prefix would be everything before that, uh, before that country name again as well, which you can see it here. So it works really simply this add prefix. Now the next one I'm going to show you is also adding suffix. Let's say I want to add the image, uh, the flag, image of every country. Now this is another website that I used it for a flagged image of every country and the flag image looks like this. It has a URL like that, that not only has a prefix up to here, the country name with a hyphen, it also has a suffix which is .png. So what I've done is pretty much similar. I first created a duplicate of that column Again, the country name, I replaced those spaces with hyphen or dash, added that as a prefix. Then I added suffix, which you can find it again under transform uh, and format. There is an option that gives you add suffix, which you can easily use it similar to add prefix. When I do that, I add dot PNG at the end of it. And then you can see that these columns values all have .png. It's a great way to build value based on a template or a pattern in text. After I do that, I can represent it in the visualization here. One thing to know when you are showing links or images in the Power BI, when it comes from the data is that you have to click on that specific column, for example, the wiki page column under column tools, set the data category. 
If it is a web URL, set it to web URL. If it is an image URL, use that specifically for, for example, the flags. We will use this, but for something like the map link, we will use uh, the web URL. When you specify that and add it to a table visual, then it shows it really nicely. So the whole purpose of this example was to show you how the text transformation, such as add prefix suff or suffix can work. They are really simple. They are very helpful for building um, a text based on a template. Part of that might be prefix, part of that suffix, and part of it might come from the column you have in your data set. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channels. We have Power BI videos every week. Thank you.